So we're hearing that the Raptors could move Bruce Brown. I mean, we've heard this for a little bit, and I think it's interesting right here what we're specifically hearing. Shout out our boys at, let me get the right attribution. And uh, is this the athletic that put this out? But they're saying the Lakers are interested. I've been saying this. Look, they, they're trying to trade a deal of, I think, if you put Bruce Brown and Dennis Schroeder, it's like 33 million, 34 million. And if you do D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, and Jalen Hood Shifino in the 29 first round pick, I do think that's a deal that you got to look at and you got to be like, maybe that's worth it. But specifically, what we're hearing from Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN on the Woj pod is that he mentioned Toronto are looking at a move to move Bruce Brown. He can only be moved by himself, though. That's the one thing I kind of forgot. He can't be packaged, I believe, in a deal. The Lakers are trying to sign Brown as a free agent to the non-tax payer. Obviously, he was interested, but then he got offered a two-year, $45 million deal. The Knicks have interest in him, but you know the Raptors acquired him in part of the Pascal Siakam and don't reportedly see him as part of the f- long-term future, which obviously you know brings up questions if, yeah, if they're if there's really a team that's just gonna wait you know overpay and go for him right now i think that's the that's the big big question so when i look at this situation i do think it's fluid and it's all depending on how much the lakers are willing to give up or want to give up to the fact that i think bruce brown's a guy who can easily covet a first round pick but that's where it becomes a bit difficult that okay how how do we go about deciding what the the value is going to be so i want to hear your guys's opinions on that one i do think it's definitely interesting as we're seeing just the way that the nba works and as more and more time passes you could you can argue it's a bit interesting to see how players are moved and you know Bruce Brown could just miss out on this. That both the Lakers and the Knicks are interested in Bruce Brown. The Toronto Raptors, in return, are asking for a first round pick for Bruce Brown. And I've been saying this all the time, guys. It's probably going to be a contending team who's willing to give up the most assets that's going to give him. And I know that's an easy answer, but it's more in the sense that look, the Knicks know they can get Malcolm Brogdon. Okay. The Knicks know that they can get anybody they want. While the Lakers don't. And the Lakers package is Jalen Hood Shafino and D'Angelo Russell. It may be a pick swap or a pick. Now, the Knicks have way more picks and their offers Evan Fournier and Quinn Grimes. So, same thing, salary filler with a young player is the attachment that both teams is offering. What we do know is that the Toronto Raptors have said that they are asking for a first round pick for Bruce Brown as that's somebody that they they believe they can turn around and you know get decent value for him while I do believe the Knicks have the more assets and I think the Knicks do I think Queen Grimes and Evan Fournier is more appealing of a deal than D'Angelo Russell and Jalen Hood Shafino because it's technically two guards you're getting there while with the Evan Fournier Quinn Grimes you're getting a swing man in Evan Fournier and then you're getting a guy in Quinn Grimes who theoretically can play the two or three in college when he was at KU he was actually a lead ball handler and I think he at this point has more potential than our guy Mr. Quinn Grimes yeah it seems like he has more potential than Jalen Hood Shafino at least I mean both guys we can all agree doesn't seem to have as much potential as we once you know might have thought but the toronto raptors are seeking a first round pick and a young player for bruce brown as brown was acquired by the raptors from indiana in last week's pascal siakam trade two teams that have been making known interest for brown is the los angeles lakers and the new york knicks browns makes 22 million dollars this season and has a 23 million dollar team option for next season mark stein of the stein line has reported so i definitely think it'll be interesting to see you know how this is all going to play out and um are you guys in agreement that this is a team i think that needs to go out and make sure they can go ahead and cash in the raptors on bruce brown because if they don't trade him now i think his value will just go down in my opinion but what do I know? I definitely think it's interesting to see how he's just being dangled there. I also don't understand how sometimes you can't trade players again for 60 days. And then other times you can trade players before 60 days. And um, for me, it's 
I'm curious. So let me hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys expect and why? But yeah, peace out.